Hollywood may have accidentally pulled the curtain back on one of the U.S. military's most secretive weapons. In Top Gun, Maverick, a fictional jet called the Dark Star stunned audiences with its futuristic design and extreme speed. But here's the twist. It might not be fiction at all. Designed for Mach 6 speeds and capable of global strikes, this $335 million ghost aircraft has reportedly drawn the attention of Chinese satellites to U.S. movie sets. And that's just the beginning. Is the State Route 72 already in the skies? Could the Pentagon have used a movie to distract? Or subtly warn the world? Let's uncover the real story behind America's next generation spy jet, the State Route 72 Dark Star. In 1998, one of the most legendary aircraft in aviation history rolled into its hangar for the last time. The State Route 71 Blackbird had reigned supreme for over 30 years, flying faster and higher than anything else, evading enemy missiles with pure speed. But as the hangar doors shut on this titanium icon, few realized this was more than the end of an era. It was the quiet beginning of a new one. On paper, retiring the State Route 71 made sense. Each flight cost nearly $85,000 an hour and required specialized JP-7 fuel. The Pentagon claimed satellites could now handle reconnaissance more effectively. But those official reasons masked deeper truths, ones that would only surface years later through leaks and whispers in the defense world. The SR-71's legacy wasn't just about what it did publicly. Its real impact lay in what it accomplished in the shadows. Over 4,000 reconnaissance missions, none lost to enemy fire. More than 1,000 missiles fired at blackbirds, and not one hit. The secret? Speed. At Mach 3.2 and over 85,000 feet, it flew above and beyond enemy defenses. Flying that fast brought extreme challenges. The airframe heated up to over 500 degrees Fahrenheit, expanding the titanium body by 6 inches. Fuel would leak on the runway only sealing during flight when the metal expanded. But the real breakthrough was proving that air-breathing aircraft could pierce the world's most advanced air defense systems. Even Soviet missiles designed to bring down high-flying jets couldn't catch it. Its stealthy design and radar-absorbing materials made it hard to detect and almost impossible to hit. By the mid-1990s, it was clear future warfare needed more than eyes in the sky. The State Route 71 could only observe, not strike. The next generation needed to do both, and survive in places no pilot could go. That's when Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, the same elite team behind the Blackbird, went back to work. They knew future enemies were building systems to counter high-speed aircraft. So they began developing something even faster, something that could carry sensors and weapons at hypersonic speeds. The Blackbird's technology laid the groundwork. Its heat management systems and engine design which transitioned between turbojet and ramjet at high speeds, with a starting point for even more advanced systems. Every lesson learned became a stepping stone toward building its replacement. As the Blackbird retired, engineers were already designing something faster, stealthier, and more lethal. The question wasn't if a successor existed. It was whether it was already flying in the skies over Nevada. And then came the most unexpected clue. Not from leaked documents or military insiders, but from a Hollywood blockbuster. In the summer of 2022, Top Gun, Maverick shattered box office records, but something else caught the attention of intelligence watchers. In the film's opening scenes, Tom Cruise's character pilots a hypersonic jet called the Dark Star. At first glance, it seemed like a futuristic Hollywood prop, but to defense analysts, it looked eerily familiar. That's because it wasn't just fantasy. The jet was designed with direct input from Lockheed Martin Skunk Works. The filmmakers wanted authenticity, and Skunk Works delivered. Their engineers helped design the aircraft down to the finest detail. They even built a full-scale mock-up, which was filmed at the ultra-secretive China Lake testing facility. What stood out wasn't just the jet's sleek look, but how closely it resembled the rumored specs of the State Route 72. At nearly 70 feet long, the design matched years of speculation from aerospace insiders. Its wedge-shaped profile, stealth contours, and advanced air intakes were more than just cinematic flair. They reflected real-world design principles needed for hypersonic flight. The State Route 72 may already be flying. And if it is, its existence may have been hidden in plain sight on a movie screen. 
the global intelligence community reacted quickly. Just weeks after the film's release, China's military satellite tracking stations began shifting their assets to monitor the China Lake facility, where the Dark Star mock-up had been filmed. Chinese social media buzzed with speculation over whether the aircraft was real, prompting their space surveillance network to redirect expensive satellites for closer observation. That a movie prop could provoke such a response revealed the growing tension around hypersonic aircraft development. But the most striking moment came from Lockheed Martin itself. After the film gained popularity, the company posted a tweet noting that the State Route 71 remained the fastest acknowledged crewed air-breathing aircraft. Those specific words, acknowledged and crewed, raised eyebrows across the aerospace world. Why would a major defense contractor feel the need to clarify the status of a decades-old aircraft? Unless faster, unacknowledged alternatives already existed. Industry insiders saw the tweet as subtle. Corporate messaging. The wording hinted that Lockheed Martin may already operate aircraft, surpassing the SR-71's performance. Aircraft that remain classified. This kind of language isn't new. In the past, similar statements have quietly preceded the official unveiling of breakthrough aerospace technology. Hollywood has long played a role in shaping public perception of advanced military systems. Stealth aircraft appeared in films before official acknowledgement. Civilian use of GPS became widespread before its military roots were openly discussed. In many cases, entertainment served as a soft launch pad for public disclosure. But the Dark Star partnership marked a new chapter. Never before had a defense giant provided such detailed technical input for a fictional aircraft so closely aligned with real-world rumors. The level of involvement suggested an intentional blending of fiction and reality, serving a purpose well beyond movie profits. The real clues, however, weren't found in Hollywood. They were hiding in plain sight, in corporate financial reports and government contracts. What exactly did $335 million in unexplained costs buy? The trail didn't lead to a locked vault or a secret hangar. It was right there in quarterly earnings and contract announcements. The challenge wasn't locating the data. It was knowing how to read it. Between 2022 and 2024, Lockheed Martin's financial filings included cost overruns in an unnamed aeronautics program that exceeded the budget by $335 million. The company vaguely cited system integration challenges, typical of advanced projects, but gave no specifics. To experienced analysts, the pattern was familiar. Similar unexplained costs appeared during the development of the F-117 stealth fighter and other secret programs, projects that weren't publicly confirmed until years after entering service. Lockheed Martin's history of managing classified efforts through selective financial reporting made these anomalies hard to ignore. Additional clues came from government contract databases. In 2022, Saffron Landing Systems Canada signed a deal with Lockheed Martin to create a clean sheet landing gear design. That term, clean sheet, is critical. It means a brand new design, not intended for a prototype or test model, but for a production aircraft. The specs required the gear to handle aircraft weights and speeds far beyond anything publicly known to exist. Even digital forensics revealed signs of something bigger. Searching for Lockheed Martin State Route 72 surfaced a strange result. A page from Lockheed's website that appeared in search results, but only displayed an error message when accessed. A deeper analysis showed the page was real, properly tagged with metadata, but blocked from public view. This kind of setup is no accident. Companies often prepare hidden pages for programs that exist, but can't yet be discussed. That Lockheed had won for the State Route 72 suggests the aircraft isn't just theoretical. It's already in development. Defense analysts uncovered even more. Lockheed's R&D budget jumped nearly 40% over three years, with most of the increase directed at the aeronautics division. Not space, not missiles, just aircraft. Combined with the company's track record in aviation, the funding pointed to a massive, ongoing aerospace project. Altogether, the evidence led to one conclusion. Behind classified walls, the U.S. was spending hundreds of millions on a new aircraft, one that officially doesn't exist but financially can no longer be hidden. But the biggest breakthrough wasn't financial, it was engineering. For over half a century, scientists struggled with one challenge. 
How to build a single engine that could operate from a standstill all the way to Mach 6? The answer came in the form of the turbine-based combined cycle, TBCC engine, developed by Lockheed Martin and Aerojet Rocketdyne. It merges a conventional turbine with a scramjet, both sharing the same air intake and exhaust. At lower speeds, the turbine provides thrust. At higher speeds, air is redirected into the scramjet, allowing efficient operation at hypersonic velocities. Flying at Mach 6 pushes every limit of aerospace engineering. Internal engine temperatures can exceed 1,000 degrees Celsius. Friction from the atmosphere heats the airframe just as much. And inside the scramjet, fuel must ignite and burn in an airstream moving faster than sound, something engineers compare to lighting a match in a hurricane. Only the most advanced materials and shockwave-controlled fuel systems make it possible.